Come right now. Everyone is afraid of drowning. Imagine that your hands and ankles are tied together, and you are pushed in the pool like that. Scary? I know. But for how long will you be able to float before you start drowning? Is there a way to survive in this situation for at least 5 minutes? By the way, this is one of the tests in the US Navy SEALs. Heads up, I'm going to try this out at the deepest part of the pool at the end of the video. That is much harder than the classic Navy SEALs test. And that was really scary and even painful. Watch until the end. All stunts are performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. This video is intended for informational purposes only. Don't try anything without a professional advisory. Hey, what's up, water crew? My name is Jim and I once tried to follow the platform being fully wrapped up. The outcome of the challenge wasn't the greatest. By the way, don't forget to watch this video, the link is here and in the description. But today is a new challenge. My friend Alex and I are professional cliff divers. And today we are going to tie our feet and hands and see if we can pass the Navy SEALs challenge. And here is the process of training the US Navy SEALs candidates. The task is to check the ability of the candidate to swim up to the water surface with their hands and feet tied. So our hands and feet are going to be immobilized while we will be put in 3 meters deep water. I bet we will do the 3 meters deep like it is nothing. But our pool also has a part with a depth of 5 and 5 meters. I really want to try myself at the deepest part to prove that the Navy SEALs are overestimating their training. Ready? Let's fly! Alright, first we are going to attach the rope to ourselves. So we can pull each other out of the water in case something goes wrong. And this would be a bit harder than regular fishing though. Okay, now Alex has to tie up my limbs and I will be ready to go to swim. I am planning to use my feet to keep my head above the water. But we'll see. Wish me luck. Fuck up right now. At first it seemed like an easy task. I even thought, so what is so hard about this? But this feeling didn't last long. By the way, by the end of the first minute I started to believe that this is really a survival challenge. And what happened next only proved my belief. Here is the first unfortunate moment of that time. <laughs> I really thought I was going to suffocate. This is when I realized I needed to be pulled out of here. For how long did I stay in the water? About a minute and 15 seconds. I thought I was doing quite good, turning from one side to another. But suddenly I did something wrong. And this entire idea started looking much more dangerous. Good thing? Alex was holding the rope and was able to pull me out. And as for now, I feel like a Navy SEALs fail. Despite the fact that I almost drowned, Alex is still going to try himself out. Plus he said he is going to follow some kind of tactic. I wonder what does it even mean? But let's see how he is going to survive this. Will he be able to keep it going for 5 minutes? I have no idea what you are counting on. Anyways, are you ready? I am ready. Good luck to you, my friend. The timer starts with your jump. What is he doing? Why does he jump like that? No, he is not that crazy. <laughs> As we found out later, this is the exact way the Navy SEALs candidates survived this challenge. You have to inhale and go under the water, where you exhale. Then you push off the bottom of the pool and inhale again, once your head is above the water. And as for surviving this challenge the way I tried, without touching the bottom of the pool, it is impossible, I guess. But if you are a professional swimmer, write in the comments what do you think about it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, yes! I, I am very tired. You lose a lot of energy when you are doing all these extra moves. I can't believe it. But Alex just passed the Navy SEALs test. And I really want to prove myself. So I am going to try this technique on the 5 meters depth. If you see me convulsing at any point, pull me up, okay? Now it's time to beat the Navy SEALs challenge. The task is the same, 5 minutes, but the depth is now 5 meters. At 
first everything went fine. I touched the bottom, jumped, inhaled, drowned, and so on. But then 5 meters turned out to be trickier than I thought. First, the time between my inhales has risen by much. Second, the pressure on my eardrums was killing me. But I couldn't fix it because I was underwater with my hands tied. I thought I wanted to save my own health. So I decided to stop the challenge. <laughs> Yes, I quit, guys. Is there a solution for that? Write in the comments. Honestly, it was so painful. But to be honest, I'm so proud that I was able to do 1 minute 30 seconds at such a huge depth. How do you think? Should I try it one more time? Or is it really dangerous? Okay, what a crew, please write in the comments if you agree that we have overdone the Navy SEALs or not. Watch some other episodes, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And please, don't do crazy stuff. We will do it instead of you. Take care.